Lower Cal Bees doing another rescue. <laughs> bees up in the bell tower. And of course, there's only this really narrow ladder to get all the way up there. So we're having to bring all of our equipment up like this over the edge. And of course, they just painted the building. And uh, so we gotta make sure we don't scratch things up. So we're doing the old uh, hold the end of the rope deal and uh, getting the stuff up there, doing whatever it takes to get the job done. We'll check in with you as this job progresses. All right, this is the point of entry here. As you can see, it's very tight. There's no way we can get much of any equipment up here. Once you get up to the next level, then it's all rooms and you just go up ladders and hatches to get to the next level. But uh, trying to get stuff through here would be pretty, pretty tight. That's why we chose to pull it from the outside of the building. All right, this is the first level. Um, we have to go up this ladder right here. Then there's another room. We'll just go right through that. And then that's the room we'll be working in where the light is above. And the roof of that is the top of the bell tower. All right, we're in the top of the bell tower now and the, um, the bees are in here somewhere. They're coming in on the outside right above where the screen is. And so I imagine they're just right in this cavity. Don't know if that's stud framed or the whole thing's open or what it is, but uh, that's where we gotta go to get them. So uh, we'll drill a hole and uh, get on in there. There's my assistant, Maximilian. You look like an angel, dude. You can't even see your face because it's so illuminated. <laughs> what a trip. God sent me an angel. All right, let's lower down the rest of this. All right, stuff. here we are. We exposed the hole and uh, found the bees are in this corner. It's actually, this colony is pretty young and uh, it's going to be a pretty easy removal. You hand me up that, I will. Uh, show you what it looks like on the inside here so there's the bees and um you know like i said it's a pretty small colony so we don't have to worry too much about uh um you know cut out and all this I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this comb out put it in the bucket with the bees and then when i get home um if there's enough to uh, install it onto a comb i mean onto a frame i will Mainly, I'm just gonna try to find the queen, and uh, you know, then we'll be able to save this colony. So that's where it's at. We're in the bell tower. That's the bells now. <laughs> no longer a bell, but uh, actually uh, speakers. But uh, what do you say, Max? Max is doing his first cutout. Yeah. How are you liking it so far? Uh, it's a lot of bees. A lot of bees, they don't want no bees, bro. <laughs> Wait till we get into a big one. All right, man, we'll check with you. All right, Serpa Ray here. Well, this job's a wrap. Uh, I was able to uh, cut a hole right here. The bees were located over here to the side on this part of the wall. We were able to cut all the comb out, um, put them in the bucket. I did not do a frame cut out because it just was not enough comb. The queen was definitely laying. There's a lot of bees in there. And uh, since this is inside a bell tower where no one's going to see it, I just patched it back up like this. It's no, no use, you know, paying a, a stucco contractor to come finish it up. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much a wrap. I feel pretty confident we got the queen because um, we, we put all the comb in this bucket right here. And you can see that all the bees are, the loose bees are gathering on the edge trying to get in. So that tells me that there's a good shot that the queen is in there because they're smelling her and trying to get in. So uh, it's about maybe six pieces of comb in there. You know, maybe the biggest one, almost the size of a dinner plate. So yeah, I think it's another successful rescue in a kind of a weird, hard to get location, but uh, we got it done here, my buddy Max here. New new tag team. Woo! All right. Oh, we got all that cut out. Like I said, I leave the bees on it to help keep the brood warm. And uh, now I'm getting ready to install them on the frames. And um, I'll put them in this little nuke with a couple of other drawn out frames of comb with some honey in it and uh, get them going. All right, there's the first frame of uh, 
brood comb that's going in there and uh, once I get them all in there I got the bees in the vacuum that I sucked up I will stick them in with them and uh, hopefully we'll get the queen. Alright now we got the little third or not third actually the second frame of brood in the, there and uh, yeah now I'll put that in with this one and then uh, go get the bee back and dump all the bees I sucked in there and like I said I'll throw in a few pieces of uh, drawn out comb that I have uh, some nice honey stores in them and uh, put those on the outside and uh, hopefully the queen's in there and if not there's there's plenty of uh, eggs and larvae in here um, See some young larvae right there. And I seen a big nice frame of eggs too. Hopefully they'll survive. Yeah, that's always the, the thing we gotta worry about. But uh, if not, I got a couple queens in the bank I'll throw in. Alright, another successful rescue.